Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris here. Um, tonight's video, we're going to show you how to replace your sink faucet, I should say. Is that uh, is because, well, it's a little bit older and um, it's kind of a little nasty down here, kind of some wear and tear. Um, kind of has some cool features, you know, this pulls out, um, but just old. It's probably at least 15, maybe even 20 years old. Um, and the main reason why we're replacing it, I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong, not just for cosmetic looks, but check this out. Now, this probably could be fixed, but it's, your water's on, it either has to be cranked, but if you're trying to wash the dishes lightly, it just falls down automatically. So, of course, that's probably an easy fix, but... We went ahead and went and bought a uh, brand new one, a little bit more cosmetically looking a little bit better. has a nice little pull-out spout here. We're going to replace the uh, soap dispenser here. And so I'm going to show you guys how to remove your kitchen faucet on your sink. So first thing what we're going to do here is you want to go below. And right here, we're going to go ahead and turn off the water. And uh, right underneath here, let me turn on some light here. All right, and real quickly here, here's your plumbing. Here's your left side sink drain right here. So if you ever lose something, you're going to have to want to jimmy it, right? You know, if you lose your ring in there or whatnot, it's going to fall down right through these pipes here. So your gold ring, gold earring might be right through here. Anyway, garbage disposal. Let's stick on task here. Those are the pipes we need to uh, turn off the water here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually turn it to the right. Mine go to the right about 90 degrees just like that or I'm sorry that wasn't even 90 degrees that was like 45 degrees okay and on the handle here you're gonna see it says quarter turn only right here on the handle it says quarter turn only that's why you only need to turn this just like that quarter turn alrighty guys so found out here that the right one here that one is for your cold water. That one over there on the left is for your hot water. And so we have fourth turn to this one here, our cold one. So let's take a look here. We try to turn on the cold water, nothing. But the hot water still works. Alrighty guys, so my left one over here was a little bit jammed up there. It was a very stiff knob to do a quarter turn. So I actually had to get my channel locks as well latch it on there and then carefully turn. Be careful of that pipe back there if you have one like this, you don't want to crack that pipe. And of course those turn to the right quarter turns. Now, both my cold water and hot water are completely off. Now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna look over our product here. And as you can see, um, not all sinks are the same. Some are kind of one spout. I have a hot water spout here, cold water spout here, and then the spout in the middle here. We have our little tubing here that's going to go down and replace the other one. And then our little little gun here. And look in the description box below for sinks and parts and tools and stuff like that using this video. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to come on over here. And we look up right here and we see two Phillips bolts right here and here. We're going to go ahead and remove those. We're going to loosen that to uh, loosen up our sink faucet so we can go ahead and pull it on out there. Alrighty guys, now what you see here underneath the sink, once the uh, screws are removed here, you're going to have to remove this threaded um, brass, kind of like almost like a large washer. And the way I did that, again, the sink is very old so it's going to take some muscle work, but I got my channel locks here and I just lock onto it and then just crank it counterclockwise as well here and then it's going to move on you here. The newer sinks, um, the new one I bought is a lot more easier than this. Of course, these are really high-end parts, brass or whatnot, but they rust like this and they get really nasty, so just work that uh, thread down, and then once that thread is all the way off, then you're gonna be able to pull the sink off. Alrighty, guys, so it was rusted on there pretty good. Now it's going counterclockwise because I'm on my back looking at it. And so if the camera's upside down, I'm sorry, guys, but you guys get the point. This little large washer here moves now to the le uh, left because I'm on my back looking up at it. And uh, so let's remove that. Alrighty guys, and now once uh, this is uh, loose here, this little uh, washer down there, you're actually gonna have another washer right above it here. And mine again is rusted on there. Let's get a nice tighter look here. So this right up here uh, is another washer with a sealant, kind of a rubber washer under there to prevent water from coming down. 
Now, again, mine is rusted on, so just get a flathead screwdriver, jimmy it, rig it in there a little bit, and that drops down as well. And then the rubber washer as well, and it's going to be kind of a hard uh, uh, jimmy rig because, again, you know, 20 plus years of corrosion tends to stick it up a little bit. Alrighty, guys, so now that we have everything off of here, we again have our rusted on metal washer, our brass washer, I'm sorry, for the first layer, and then our metal washer, and then our rubber washer here. That's all connected up there. Really nasty rust gridded on there. Of course, you're going to have to uh, clean up your mess afterwards. Now, before we can lift this completely, we're going to have to lift off the soap dispenser here. This is a three-part piece. Now, see how this is loose here. But now we have to remove this so that we can remove that all together as well in one piece. It looks like it's already a little bit cracked here from the corrosion, but that's okay. So, now you got to come down below again if you have this feature on your sink. And right through here, sorry guys, but same similar model. It uh, has a little screw at the top. You're going to unscrew that soap dispenser and remove that, uh, the liquid bottle here. And then so you can get through it so you can pull out that uh, top portion there. All right, so there's our uh, soap dispenser right there. And now what we have to do is we're going to test it real quick here so we don't make more work for ourselves here. But see, it's not moving yet. That portion moves. So this portion comes right on out after the soap dispenser is taken out. And so we're going to put that aside there. And, but the only problem though is that we still have our washer underneath here. So our whole sink unit is not coming up yet because we still have this portion bolted in. So let's go on our backs right here again. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, uh, we're back on our backs again. And we have this silver washer right here we need to take out. Now, again, this is kind of a tedious job. You're going to be on your back. you got to get your monkey wrenches out and get this loose. This is probably going to have some corrosion if it's a later model sink like mine. So grab your monkey wrench, grab that counterclockwise, loosen up that metal washer. All right, guys, now I had to pull out the uh, entire sink properly here so we don't pull the cords with it as well. We're going to go ahead and remove this here to the uh, course, lefty-loosey, lefty-loosey. And this one has a little screw here, and then we're going to unscrew that so that we can pull our sink all the way out. We ran into a little bit of a problem with that soap dispenser. It's really corroded on there. Um, so we don't plan on using this again, so we're just gonna go ahead and rip the thing up. Alrighty guys, we removed the old one, finally. This one was a little bit tricky, very corroded here, that little soap dispenser one. Um, and again, that one was just a straight down one. This one wasn't being used, this was for the soap dispenser. And this one was, you know, hot, cold. So now, we're gonna put in our hot, cold, different handles here. First thing we're gonna do is it kind of came with a little plastic thing here. Make sure that uh, the little groove side is up like this, flat sides down. We're gonna lay that right over that. Try to clean that the best you can. That's pretty rusty and corroded, so we're gonna cover that real nicely like that. We're gonna take our new sink and we're just gonna drop that in. We're just gonna drop that straight in like that. And again, those little grooves match up right along the, uh, the edge here. Now, what's optional is after you have it all hooked up, what's optional is if you want to take some of that clear sealant and put some sealant around it. We're going to go ahead and leave it like this, just in case we want to take this one with us when we move out and put a real, real cheap one in there. Uh, but most likely, um, yeah, we'll probably just leave this one here. Now, the worst part of the job is removing the old one because of the corrosion and the rust. Most faucets have been in there for about 10, 20 years, so a lot of corrosion, a lot of rust. So be patient with that, use penetrating oil, and uh, WD-40, let it soak in, and then loosen up those bolts. Alrighty guys, now that we have our sink lined up on the top, we're going to go ahead and put on our plastic little caps here down at the bottom and tighten it in real nicely here. These are plastic instead of metal, which I personally think are a lot better, because after about 10 or 20 years of corrosion, you're not going to have to deal with that. You can even break these off if necessary. We had to do a real modification of really using a bunch of tools and penetrating oil to get off that old one that was stuck right here. So anyway, now we're looking real good. We're going to tighten these up real nice, make sure it's lined up beautifully. And then we're going to go ahead and connect our connector here in the middle for our actual water. Alrighty guys, now what I had to do is again, I had to do a little bit of a modification here because my faucet was so old, I actually broke off the copper piping. Uh, which made it a lot easier to remove um, a portion of that. So now these little tubes are connected down over here to this right here with plumber's tape on it. Show purposes, this is a 16 millimeter wrench. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get that portion off of this. You can see there in the background there, that brass uh, coupling. And I'm gonna loosen that up, take that off of uh, the uh, hot pipe there. The uh, in here is the size here. And it looks like this here. Um, and then that just shoves on up. Use some plumber's tape, um, which I got right here. And I'll, again, I'll have all this in the description box below here. Um, we're gonna wrap that up in just a second. And of course, this small end goes right in there. We're gonna put some uh, plumber's tape around there, shove that on in, twist that on up, and then same thing for up right, right there. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and string it up. Alrighty, guys, so we're gonna be wrapping this portion here. Don't use too much, but enough where you're not gonna um, have a leaky uh, valve down here. And then we're gonna screw it back. All right, guys, so this is the portion here, and we're just gonna fit that right on and down there, and I'm gonna use two hands and really jam that in there. And then I'm gonna take my copeling here, and then I'm gonna screw that on, but I need to use two hands so I don't hurt this pipe here because it sticks out kind of far. All right, guys, now we're gonna use our thread tape. We're gonna thread tape this one right here so our large coping can go ahead and screw on that one as well. All right, good news, guys. Before I toss these, I double-checked and looks like they're both in perfect working order here. So again, um, I was able to salvage um, my hot one as well. It was just long enough, so that was perfect. So now before we finish up the job here, we're gonna have to uh, turn the water on and before we test for leaks. So again, we just go over here. We just go over here and we do a quarter turn back on. There we go, you're gonna hear the water kind of juice forward a little bit. And then we're gonna check for leaks. You wanna fire up your faucet here for a good solid minute and then you want to come back down here you want to check for leaks right here and make sure there's no splash of water and then you want to check for leaks right here as well where your other thread tape is right here now because this faucet came with this little splish splash sprayer thing you guys know what i'm talking about because it came with this item here well we're gonna have a leak if we do not connect that. So don't buy that if you don't need it because what I had to do is I had a jimmy rig it for right now just to test it out. I had to connect that portion. I had to connect that portion right here to the center. So again, so again, now I have my cold side connected. I have my middle connected with my little hose. But let me show you uh, where I hid this out for right now because it gets a little bit more complex having to deal with your garbage disposal uh, tubes that go up here. I'm going to have to figure that out later. Probably not for this video though, guys. So, uh, let me show you what I did with this. I connected right there, real simple. Again, check for leaks right here. We're good, we're good. All right, so now let's go up above. All righty, water's been running for a couple minutes now, no leaks. And I'm going to show you another video how to fix these chips here. This didn't happen because of this job, but this was previously here. Anyway, so I got this little hideaway key thing right here. Kind of cool, right? So I just got my hose right here until I figure out how to put it right here. So I got my hose right here, you know. Just wash the dishes like this, blah, 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 blah. And then there we go. Before you throw all your other old faucet stuff away, make sure you can't use any brackets, brasses, hoses, etc. And that's pretty much how you guys do it. Enjoy the vid. Again, look in the description box for the sink, for the hoses, for the coplings, and all that fun stuff. Hope you guys have a good day and subscribe and, and please like that video so more people can find it and hopefully it'll help them out as well. Alright guys, you guys have a good day. Bye bye.